Why, hello there. I guess you all know what today is after you've already watched Greg's. Mine, mine's going to be a tad different. Anyway, I'm not doing a top 10. I'm doing a top 9, just to be a little different. I'm going to leave all the links in the crotch bar down below for all of our movies and, sh and blah, 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 blah. So, to start, I'm going to start out with my top number 9. Which one's what? Number nine, I'm gonna have to say, it was so much fun to film. We use, we have our friend Ed, who is our cameraman, who is a lot of fun to be with, and we have a lot of friends in our videos. I'm gonna have to say, it is number nine is Doritos commercial. So much fun because we have our classic hobo man in it, who plays a starring role in a lot of our videos, and it was a lot of fun to make. So, and especially if you watch the bloopers, you know that there was a lot of fun to make. Number eight, one would have to be one of my personal favorites, is Lime Time LTV. And I know it's kind of obnoxious, and we said we were going to do a whole rap battle thing, but we didn't, because I found a song called Carmel Dancing that I found was very catchy, and we should make a music video to it, and you could probably see my pit stains in it, which was a long time ago, because I was in 8th grade, which was a lot of fun back then, except 8th grade kind of sucked, but whatever. 7. Number 7. I'm going to... Okay, number 7. I'm going to be a little cocky right now, but I made this one all by myself on St. Patrick's Day, because Greg was gone, and I we had to do something. So... I found this techno song on Newgrounds and was like, why not make a music video? Because I was pretty bored that day. So, I made Rundown. Pretty fun. Very fun to make. Used a lot of effects on iMovie HD. Had a blast. Okay. Number six. Number six. I like it. Me and Greg came up with this poem on a car ride home from some acting class we took. It was a few days before Christmas. A poem we both wrote and made a video to it, which we actually thought we did a good job. I don't know. Blinks. Links down on the bottom. Crotch bar. Right down here. There's so many to pick from. Alright, number five. Number five is one of our friends at schools, named Cole, his personal favorite. I'd have to say mine too. Number five is Cool Beans. We got the idea off a movie called Hot Rod, where they kind of did the same thing. But we thought it was pretty fun to do, and we tried to do a little song out of it. I don't know. It was fun to make. <laughs> Number four, one of uh, number four, one of our more popular videos. I'd have to say was sleeveless snuggy, because I don't know, people find it hilarious that a snuggy, no sleeves, which is it in its intended purpose. I thought it was pretty funny. How many babies do you have? Yes. This is when we started doing more songs and using our garage band techniques, or which you could, if you could if you want to say it like that. But number three is Lost the Remote. And I myself have to brag a little bit saying I sounded awesome on autotune. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Number two is kind of a tie between two because I think they were pretty awesome. One, it was another song we did for Christmas. It was Under the Tree, a parody of Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. I think we did a good job. And just saying, as Greg said, Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. Just remember that. And also the tie would have to be one we made a little more recently. It was called Epic Movie Trailer. It's kind of like our original one trailer, but it's more epic and more manly with weapons and color correction. That's manly. I know in this number one video, Greg was not there, but still, it was a lot of fun to do, and me and Ed had a blast, because Greg just, I guess, didn't want to show up that day, so we made our own, and it was a very popular video. I have to admit, that one was one of our most funniest and most fun one to make. Sorry, Greg. I know you weren't there. Wish you were. Would have been awesome. So, guys, thanks for watching us for these three years. Hopefully, this next one's a good one. I know we've had a shortage on videos for a little while, but trust me, there's a lot more in store, and you're in for some laughs. Maybe even some heartbreak. Hopefully my hair will change many more styles as we go along. I hope you guys stick around. Now before I go, here's me as an emo kid.